Hi, I thought I would come live and I wanted to go live on Facebook. That didn't work, but last time I did it through YouTube. So I thought, okay, I'll go to YouTube. And now again, I had some issues and I haven't managed to go live on YouTube. So I'm pre-recording this. I'm on my Zoom account because I want a virtual background because to be honest, I can show you what it looks like, but I think it's too, the word I would use would be busy without the virtual background. That's what it looks like in my office. So I'm blurring the background. So I apologize to anybody who doesn't like the, the changes in the background because I'm not using my green screen. We're going to set something else up there pretty soon. It's, I need to do a bit of homework to get that done. I've still got a little bit of a cold. That's the one issue that I've had. So I've been distancing, or what's the word they used in America? Shielding. And before that, I had an issue with my kidneys. And now I know what it is. So I can't say I haven't got the issue anymore, but I've accepted it. I've digested it, and that's how it is. So it's no big issue for me anymore. But it threw me back. It put me in a situation where I had to take stock. And I've come to a point now where I'm ready to pick up the pieces and go forward again. And I know I have a mission. I know I have something important to do, to say. And I know I personally struggle constantly with feelings of self-worth and self-confidence. I don't know whether I should really say self-confidence because I know I have done a lot and I can do a lot. And I love to listen. And as you can see, I can talk, I can express myself. And my issue is probably I need to learn to focus. However, this week, it was just yesterday that I revisited my human design profile. Now, some of you have never heard of human design and some of you might be experts. It's a little bit like astrology or numerology. And my human design chart tells me that I am a generator. Everything that I read about myself in the context of the human design profile gelled with what I knew and felt about myself. Even though I know I can lead because I have a very sharp eye for detail and, and a good capacity to discern how things are going, one point in my profile which almost upset me one word that was in there generator react actually perhaps I should pull up the chart and then I could show you was about reactive and I thought no I'm not just reactive but it's true I'm really good in teams and getting teams to work together because I listen and I feel what's going on and how I can contribute. And before I jump in to tell you the answer, I won't be the first one normally to jump in and tell you what you should do. In fact, if you don't specifically ask me, what do I think you should do? I may not get around to opening my mouth because I want to hear, I want to feel the what everybody is going through, what everybody thinks and feels. And typically my response will be then to digest it all and to provide a very good balanced analysis which can be a good basis for making decisions and taking action so i know i have that capacity i do that automatically 
so I say I that I'm very critical, that I'm very analytical, that I'm very observant. Yes, it's automatic. I hear it. I see it. I perceive it. And I want to fix it. But I don't push myself forward to jump in and make it better. So in the human design theory, there are lots of different personalities and characters. And when we recognize what our own personality and character is, then we can best work together in a team to cooperate with one another. So there are certain characteristics. This talk yesterday that I heard was really amazing because it just gelled with me. It just showed me how important it is to get those people around you that really help you to blossom and to be yourself. So I need people who can appreciate my talents so that I can really serve you the best. I can do so much. I have done so much and I'm still working on that part of it. I'm still working on setting up schedules, goals to focus on producing the reports about the last month, the last week, the last year, about what I've done, about my life. And even though I can tell you lots of different things, I sense this need to consolidate, to put it all together. And I just knew I have to come back. I wanted to go live. It's helpful for me to just be here live with you. So this is recorded, but I plan to post it very, very shortly. So it'll be very close to live. And surprisingly, our Toastmasters meeting today was cancelled. So actually, this should be a type of presentation I could have should have wanted to set my timer and do a seven minute speech and tell you what I really think and give myself a clear topic. My only goal in going live today was to go live because since my crisis, it was a crisis, I have gone through a crisis and even recognizing that process has been quite an amazing experience, but that would be a much longer talk, which I didn't want to do right now. But now that I've had my examinations and gone to all the doctors and medical centers and had almost all the, had all the results, just haven't gone back to the GP yet. So I'm, I've closed that chapter, accepted it, and now I'm working with the digital world again, how to go live the way I want to go when I've changed some of my settings, for example, my web browser. And I know that I'm talking to lots of different people who have lots of different needs and levels and I believe I have a certain capacity and I love helping and supporting but I want to do it in the best way possible for both of us for all of us so let's see where this goes next time I'll contemplate a little bit more to focus on my goal on a seven minute talk perhaps and pose a question for you. What would you like me to talk about? How can I help you? Because with this Toastmasters meeting falling out today, I thought, well, isn't it time now to start my own group? Isn't it time for me to have my own connections and meet with those people that resonate with me so that we can work together, grow together. 
love together and build an ideal world together. That's my goal, building bridges and helping make this world a better place. So I'll see you next time.